Today, I'm going to teach about performance analytics manual indicator. Okay, so our agenda is what is a manual indicator? Why we use manual indicators? And how we will create a manual indicators? So how we will create a manual indicators? We will show with a practical demo. Okay, so what is a manual indicator? Manual indicators lets you track trends in data and process that are managed outside of service now. For example, um, you have a service desk. Okay, so service desk will get a lot of calls. Okay, so out of those calls, okay, they will create, for example, if they get a 50 calls, they can create a 35 incidents or 40 incidents for all the calls. But, um, um, uh, but some calls are for uh, problems or requests or anything. Okay, so like that. Okay, so how many? Uh, so uh, those are not tracked. Okay, properly. For example, service desk get uh, 50 calls and uh, uh, they have created only 30 incidents. So, so what is the percentage? Okay, so what is the percentage of the incidents that are created via phone calls? We can track. Okay, so uh, we don't know. Uh, so service now will not know about the phone calls which are received by service desk. So to create such indicators, we need to use manual indicators. Okay, and also we will create some formula indicators using example like percentage of new incidents from phone calls. Okay, new incident from phone, okay, by number of calls for service desk into 100 okay that's it so let's see let's see with this example how we will create it so log into your instance okay log into your instance so let's create um, how many phone calls are how many phone calls okay are created for um, ser for service desk okay so uh, we need to create one um, uh, manual indicator okay so go to the manual indicator okay Go to the manual indicators, create a new new indicator. Okay. So number of phones for service desk. SD means service desk. Okay. So frequency is daily and count is like hash. Okay. So count is number. Okay. And save it. Save it. So the contributor can be added. Okay, who is the contributor? Contributor is like users, or uh, we don't have uh, much users here. So benchmark scheduler will create it, or no need of any users. Okay, and then uh, what you can do is a scores for this indicator. Click on this one. Okay, so here you can add a. Um, uh, day wise or year wise or uh, uh, something like 2019 or anything okay so maybe we will create um, december uh, last seven days is like uh, 19th or 20 okay or 13 14 now it's like uh, 25th okay 1925 okay so indicator scores so on December 19th, we received 40 calls. On December 20, we received um, uh, 30 calls. On December 21, we received 15, 18, 45 calls, 35 calls. And December 25th, we don't have data. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so now go back. Now go back. So number of phone calls. Okay, now show analytic hub. So you see, today is 35 incidents. We created it. Okay, from December 19th, you have a graph now. Okay, so now go go to incidents. Go to incidents. Incidents, incident, all incidents. 
Okay, so if it's channel, contact type is channel. Okay, so you have a channel here. So go back by phone, how many created by phone. You can see 42 incidents. Okay, so open J2A. Three months ago data we have, but not uh, in the last seven days, but we can create a now new incident caller ability tutor test channel phone okay and save it copy incident some other user channel type is phone and save it two incidents we created today with the phone okay with phone but 35 phone calls are there okay so let's see Let's have um, a indicator, okay? So with channel phone, new incidents, okay? So go to uh, go to indicators. Automated indicators, okay? An indicator source is a new incident. Incident. Uh, new incident, number of new incidents. Okay, so in the number of new incidents, you add a breakdown. Okay, we don't have a breakdown channel. Maybe let's see channel we have or not. Okay, we don't have channel or contact type we have, incident contact type. Okay, add it and save it. So breakdown mapping, okay, a breakdown mapping. So click on contact type, contact type, so incident field contact, okay, so it is there, okay. So now create some formula indicator, okay, formula indicator. Go to the favorite formula indicators. New, new. Percentile of new phone call incidents. Incidents. Okay. So percentile. Two. We can keep as two. Okay. And in the browse indicator. Okay, um, what is the formula we are using? New incidents from phone call. Number of new incidents breakdown is contact type okay and the element is phone okay so phone okay hello breakdowns okay select it okay select it by close for an indicator number of phones for service desk Okay, and select it. So, divided by into 100, into 100. Save it. Okay, now show analytics hub. Okay, contributing indicators is number of new incidents. Okay. Execute the job. Okay, 
daily historical data collection, not daily data collection. Okay, related to start one and two because we did not uh, run this job, so that's the reason it is not coming. Okay, so once you created a show analytic hub, you have five new incidents. Okay, with contact type phone, you have two new incidents with contact type. Okay, that's correct. And now see our indicator. So percentile of 5.71. Okay, 5.71 percentile you have. Okay, that's uh, out of um, uh, 35 phone calls. So no breakdown available here. Okay, so no breakdown is available. So, so you see, uh, so total number of new incidents we got is like um, uh, two new incidents, okay? F two new, uh, two new incidents we got it, and total is 35, okay? For 35, that is like 5.71 percent of incidents only it got created from service desk, from service desk. Okay, edit this indicator. Edit this indicator and open this number of phone calls phone for service desk okay so we don't have any breakdown here okay so we can create an, a manual breakdown for this one because we will not get an automated breakdown so we can create a manual breakdown okay so go to the um, performance analytics manual breakdowns okay click on new click on new so here you can uh, i am submitting by area Okay, south, west, east, okay, uh, north areas we will cover. Okay, so here save it, save it, save it, and uh, manual is like um, um, north area 100. Okay, next uh, east, west. south so you can change the order to 200 300 400 okay so we have created a breakdown and breakdown relation we need to add which indicator it is using it okay so let's cancel and save it save it okay and edit it number of phones of service desk is using and save it so a breakdown relation if you have any breakdown relation you can add it okay so breakdown is area breakdown field no we don't have anything okay so go back go back and go to this indicator go to this indicator and in the related links, uh, open scores for this indicator. Okay, scores for this indicator. You have area is um, like 19th is like uh, uh, not 40, 50, 30 is there, but you don't have not not area. How many? 10. Add 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay, add five, five, ten, ten. Okay, so not the side is five, five, ten. Okay, and then in fifteen is five, 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 and zero, fifteen. Okay, a three, a five, and five, and five is 18 okay and 45 is 10 15 10 10 okay and 35 is 5 10 10 and 10 okay so you have applied all these things and then aggregate scores click on aggregate source area some area okay and apply and apply okay so you need to aggregate the scores and then if you run show analytics hub 
okay and then you will get the area so east how much change west south all these things okay for example you want east so east how many calls are there on each day which days it is okay so you can calculate and under here also um our formula indicator go to formula indicators uh formula indicators we have created a new indicator called uh, phone something okay number of phone calls open this one and um, you can add a breakdown edit breakdown okay uh, area okay area add it the area and save it and save it so show analytical hub you can see the okay and breakdown is not available because it is not applied to one of more contributing indicators for the for a follower of the formula okay so edit indicators so contributing it is added right manual indicator indicator source is not there breakdown count one okay so open this one it is added breakdown okay breakdown relations area related breakdown area uh, um, i'm not sure on this one so i'm skipping this part okay so yeah normally you can create a number of uh, uh, breakdowns okay number of uh, okay so you can apply uh, breakdowns here like this so you can create a manual breakdown and uh, you can uh, uh, apply the manual breakdowns to the manual indicators okay so that's uh, that's way that's how uh, you can create a manual indicators okay thank you thank you so much yeah, bye bye please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos hope you will enjoy and learn service now thank you very much for your time